started with a lot of anticipation of how markets would open and uh, markets have actually uh, been pretty steady uh, even though there were lots of attempts to shake investor mood over the weekend. Abhay Agarwal, founder of Piper Sarika, joining me now uh, on uh, the show for his perspective. Abhay, very good morning and we'll talk markets, we'll talk direction but uh, you know wanted to know what you made of all of the uh, events over the weekend, uh, round two of Hindenburg hit job allegations and then the responses to it. Yeah, Tamana, good morning uh, for, and thank you for having me on the show. Uh, yeah, for me, you know, frankly, as I've been saying, it's a non-event. I think it's a, it's a, uh, you know, it's done by an organization that is known for this kind of activity. Uh, as an investor, I pay no attention to these kind of, you know, mud slinging allegations with, you know, very uh, selective facts or some data being thrown in. Uh, I, you know, I saw the the report that they put out. I mean, frankly, that kind of stuff would be done by, you know, uh, a graduate level analyst in a firm like ours to dig up that data. There's nothing credible in it. I mean, it's just a bunch of facts. Uh, and, you know, I have to ask you, if, a, if, a, if, an, if a, an analyst came to you with that data uh, and, you know, claimed that this is good enough to put in a report, would they get fired? <laughs> they would definitely not get a job with us or anybody else, you know, not only us. I mean, what is it? You Google something, you find something, and then you put it out and say, you know, selectively, because I'm sure they found something else, but they selectively chose to use this data, which shows nothing. I mean, there is nothing material in it. So I don't even know why there is even this interest on social media. Maybe it will stay for a couple of days, it will die out. But it's a non-event. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I think uh, the only intent of Hindenburg probably is to make some money off it which if they fail to do, uh, you know, it will, everybody will lose interest. So I think, uh, but at the same time, I think since this has been put out uh, and so much discussion is taking place, especially for a very, very credible position of the chairperson, I think it is also the onus is on the Indian government to take note of this and to make sure these things don't happen, that people just don't make allegations from overseas and have no repercussions around it. They have the legal forum they can go to if they have a problem you know, but putting it out in the media, there's only one intent, which is to mudsling and benefit monetarily from it. And I think once both these efforts fail, hopefully this will stop. But I think my worry is that as the Indian market grows and we attract more and more foreign capital, some of these attacks will continue from different directions. Uh, it is not for me to say how the government should react to it, but definitely there's some mechanism that should be put in place, especially to protect the small investors, you know, who may worry more about uh, the markets after reading this.